Hey everybody, welcome to the top 80 cartoon intros. Why top 80? Um, that's because I couldn't just, I couldn't narrow it down to a top 10 because there are so many great cartoon intros and I just, I couldn't, I just couldn't. So it ended up being 80. So this is going to be in about four parts and yeah, so hope you enjoy and this is it's my personal top 80 by the way so if there's any I miss out in the 80 um, songs then I'm sorry they're just the ones that are personal to me and ones that I remember as a kid and the rules are um, the ones I had to pick were supposed to be ones that I you know memorable ones that you could hum along or if you heard it you'd instantly know what cartoon it was from and it has to be a cartoon as well and yeah that so I had a few rules for it so I picked out and it took a long time to write them all down and to put them in order of what I think is you know from 80 to all the way to number one and yeah it was really hard work but I think I've got it now so this first one is going through from 80 to 60 and I really hope you enjoy it and like I said um, the, the ones that are memorable to me so if I miss any out I'm really sorry but there's 80 of them you know there's bound to be quite a lot that you remember as yourself as well and they're just ones that you can sing along to, or at least hum along to, and just ones I remember as a kid that I really loved. Okay, I'll get on with it, okay. Number 80 is Poddington Peas. Down at the bottom of the garden, among the birds and the bees, a little lot of little people, they call them Poddington Peas. Yeah, uh, Pilots and Peas, I used to watch it when I was very, very little, and it was just a really funky song. I didn't really like the cartoon that much. It wasn't, it was alright, but it wasn't amazing or anything, didn't interest me that much, but like with some cartoons, this song was better than the actual show, and that was one of them for me, um, but the song was really good, so it's in the top 80. There's creepy black eyed keep it a secret now, please. Okay, it's 79 is Spot. Spot, Spot, a lovable Spot. He's soft and cuddly and he smiles a lot. Another show that I used to watch as a little kid, and it's just a nice little chirpy little song. If there ever was a pup to cheer you up, it's Spot, Spot, a Spot. 78 is Hey Arnold. Yeah, Hey Arnold. Uh, I used to watch it a lot as a kid, so it is my number 78. It's not the best uh, Nickelodeon show that I liked, but it is one of them and I thought it was cool. Seventy seven is Raggy Dolls. It's not much of a light when you trust a pretty face. Just to be whoever you are is no disgrace. Don't be scared if you don't fit in. Look who's in the reject bin. Another I used to watch when I was very little and the Again, it was one of those ones where the song was catchy and you could sing along to it, but the show was, it was alright, it wasn't amazing, but, it, you know, the song was really fun. And I liked it. It's the Raggy Dolls, the Raggy Dolls, the Raggy Dolls, dolls like you and me. Raggy Dolls, the Raggy Dolls, made them perfectly. 76 is Swat Cats. Brilliant song. I did watch this quite a lot, I think it was on Cartoon Network, and it was a great song, proper like metal and really energetic and fun, and I really liked it. It was just a really fun show. Right. 
75 is the tick. Uh, it was a strange show, but uh, it was really funny and really great, and I love the intro for it. I just love all the stuff that's going on in the intro and everything, so uh, yeah, that's why I put that at 75. <laughs> Seventy-four is James the Cat. My name's James. James the Cat. Yeah, I used to watch this again when I was very, very little, and it was a fun little show. And it had a, I think there was a rabbit that uh, was a boxer or something. <laughs> it was a fun little show. So, and I, it's just they catch you the uh, song, so I really like it. I've had fame, money, and all that. 73 is Jimbo. Yep, yet again, another one from when I was very, very little, and I used to sing Jimbo in school when I was very little quite a lot. It was just a fun little song. Jimbo. Jimbo. 72 is Arthur. Every day when you're walking down the street, everybody that you meet, as an original point of view <laughs> And I say Hey, hey, what a wonderful kind of day uh, I never really watched Arthur that much because I think I was a bit older when Arthur came out but the song was, I don't know, it was just really upbeat and really happy and I really liked it, I loved singing along to the song but I usually would turn it off when the actual show came on I've watched episodes but it's not that good but the song, very good you got to listen to your heart, listen to the beat, listen to the rhythm, the rhythm of the street. Open up your eyes, open up your ears, get together and make things better by working together. 71 is Samurai Pizza Cats. Samurai Pizza Cats. Oh yeah! Who do you call when you want some pepperoni? Samurai Pizza Cats. Right on! They're standing out crime and you know that ain't baloney. I think Samurai Pizza Cats was one of the first Japanese anime kind of um, cartoons I ever watched when I was a kid. And it's loads of fun and it's silly and over the top and yeah, just about Samurai Pizza Cats. There's really everything you need to know about it is in the title and the song's really fun. Seventy is Winnie the Pooh. Gotta get up, gotta get going. Gonna see a friend of mine. He's round and he's fuzzy. I love him because he's just Pooh Bear, Winnie the Pooh Bear. Uh, I think it's called The Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. I'm not 100 percent sure, but uh, it's this song that I I really liked. I think it was on. I can't remember what channel it was on, but I remember watching it really like six o'clock in the morning, really early in the morning. And it was just really fun. I really like the song. Sixty-nine is Pink Panther. I really love the Pink Panther song, and it's just everybody knows the Pink Panther song. Dun, 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 dun. Everybody knows it, and it's a classic, and that's why it's in the top 80. 
68 is Monster Rancher. I was transported to a faraway land and to a world of I play the game like an ape. Now we're in this place to save the monsters from the evil moon. Yeah, I really liked Monster Rancher when it came out. I saw the anime after I played the PS1 game, or I played the PS1 game and I saw the anime. I don't know which way around, but uh, I loved Monster Rancher for ages. I thought it was really cool. It was a time when um, Digimon and Pokemon and all that kind of stuff was coming out. So Monster Rancher, I really loved the intro for it. And uh, yeah, that's it really. <laughs> Sixty seven is I Am Weasel. You don't need pants for the victory dance, cause Baboon's better than Weasel. I are Baboon makes star cartoons. I am Weasel. I really love the intro for this, cause I really love I Are Baboon. Because you definitely don't need pants for the victory dance, and it's, it's just brilliant. I love the cartoon as well, and the song was just funny. Sixty six is Tales from the Crypt. I actually saw the proper Tales from the Crypt, the live action one, before I saw the cartoon uh, when I was a kid, and so I preferred the live action one, but the cartoon was still cool. It's still cool that there was a cartoon of something else I liked, so yeah, it's usually the way around. You see the cartoon when you're older, you see the live action, but no, it's the other way around for me, and I love the theme for Tales from the Crypt, from it because it's from Danny Elfman from Oingo Boingo, one of my favourite bands. From the Crypt Keeper. <laughs> 65 is Johnny Bravo. One, two, three, go! Baby! Sassy! Such a catchy little mad song, and uh, it's just dead fast paced and fun, and it just makes me laugh. There's all the stuff um, Johnny Bravo's getting up to in the intro and everything, so yeah, do the monkey with me. <laughs> Do the monkey with me! Come on! Hey there, play man. Yeah, whatever. 64 is the Jetsons. Me joins the Jetson! His boy, Elroy! Yeah, I used to watch Jetsons quite a lot when I was I was very small and I was watching the Jetsons and it's just a really fun little song. I don't really remember the show as much as I do the song and I think that's with a lot of intros when you're really little. You remember the song because how catchy it is and stuff but you don't remember the cartoon as much with some and Jetsons is one of them because I haven't watched that since I was little. So yeah, I don't remember the show but I remember the song and it's great. <laughs> Sixty-three is Goof Troop. I just think the song is funny and silly, and <laughs> it's just very goofy. And yeah, I used to watch Goof Troop quite a lot. I think it was on the Disney Channel. And yeah, just a really fun song. Sixty two is sticking around. Uh, 
And not a lot of people remember this Nickelodeon show, but I watched Nickelodeon like mad when I was a kid, and Sticking Around was a really great show. I really loved it, and it was really funny as well. And I remember recording loads of the episodes on video and watching them over and over again. And I love the um, the intro song for Sticking Around. It's just dead fun. We get Sixty-one is Angry Beavers. It's such a funky song. Uh, I really, really love it, and I love Angry Beavers the cartoon as well. I've been rewatching them on Netflix, and that song is just—it's just dead funky and cool and everything. So that's why it's in the top eighty. And at number 60 is Pinky and the Brain. The Pinky and the Brain, yes Pinky and the Brain. One is a genius, the other's insane. The laboratory mice, the genes has been sliced. The Pinky, the Pinky and the Brain. Yeah, Pinky and the Brain, really funny. Um, I prefer Pinky, the character, to the Brain, but everybody does think because Pinky's just crazy. Uh, oh, he's insane. <laughs> And yeah, it's just a really fun song. I remember singing it a lot when I was in school with all my friends. And yeah, so that's why it's 60. Before each night is done, your plan will be unfurled by the dawning of the sun. You'll take over the world. And that is it for the first part of my top 80 cartoon intros. So hopefully um, you'll stick around and you'll see part two very soon. Bye.